The road to King of the Ring rolls through Fort Worth, Texas, as we get right down to the action, live on Monday Night Raw! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds. It is going to be a busy night of action here in Fort Worth, Texas on Monday Night Raw as we are less than two weeks away from our pit stop at the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana for the 2024 King of the Ring event. And right here tonight, we will determine who is going to move on to the semifinals of the King of the Ring on that night, the megastar. L.A. Knight looks to punch his ticket before our very eyes. A task easier said than done as L.A. Knight's going up against a real blue chipper, meaner than evil, Braun Breaker as we kick things off. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in. Well, let's take a look at the eight superstars who currently remain in the King of the Ring tournament. Four from Raw and, of course, four from Friday Night SmackDown that will compete this Friday in Mexico City. But later tonight, in your main event, it is a quarterfinal bout in the King of the Ring tournament as the best in the world, CM Punk, takes on the Judgment Day's dirty Dominic Mysterio. A lot to talk about coming out of last week's All-Star Raw that bleeds into tonight here in Fort Worth. And of course, a lot of that having to do with the King of the Ring Tournament. It has been a highly competitive tournament over the last few weeks with every superstar across Raw and SmackDown looking to wear the crown of the King. And of course, punch their ticket to the main event of SummerSlam this August to challenge for their brand's World Championship. And it very well could be one of these superstars capitalizing on that opportunity. Welcome to Monday Night Raw as we kick things off from Fort Worth with a King of the Ring quarter final bout between the badass Braun Breaker and the megastar L.A. Knight. The bell has sounded. We are underway. I am sure some great respect between these two competitors. When that bell sounds, respect goes out the window, especially when the stakes are higher than ever. LA Knight defeating Dijak two weeks ago to advance to the quarterfinals. Braun Breaker turning away Baron Corbin in the first round of the King of the Ring. And now these two superstars who are on the cusp of great things here on Monday Night Raw square off in the quarterfinals. You look at LA Knight, somebody who's trying to bounce back from a big time loss at Vengeance a number of weeks ago to the now number one contender to the WWE Championship, Seth freaking Rollins. Meanwhile, Braun Breaker has been on a roll, not just as of late here on Raw, but over the last few months. This is a man who owns victories over the Hall of Famer Edge, future Hall of Famers and Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes. Was within inches of winning the World Heavyweight Championship against the ring general Guther in April at Backlash and bringing that championship to Monday Night Raw. Speaking about vengeance a few weeks ago, Braun Breaker also with a huge victory over the street champ Solo Sokoa. Ron Breaker, they call him a blue chipper. They call him a future main event star here on Monday Night Raw. But it's moments like tonight and matches like these that Breaker needs to make the most of to take that next step in his career. It's something that really play, plagued, excuse me, the first year of Braun Breaker's main roster career over on Friday Night SmackDown. There's a lot of big time losses in big time matches, but Braun Breaker has really turned the tables over the last few months, showing maturity between the ropes. Will that continue here tonight in Fort Worth? Or will the Mega Star Spotlight be too much to handle? Off the shoulder block goes for the cover. LA Knight getting the shoulder up. LA Knight is somebody who has been in the crosshairs of Seth freaking Rollins over the last few months. Both men eyeing up a opportunity for the WWE Championship. A matchup, as we mentioned, bled into vengeance a number of weeks ago. LA Knight unfortunately coming up short. And you gotta wonder. Something we've been talking about over the last couple of 
and counters inside the squared circle as LA Knight's previously injured rib cage after a matchup with Omos here on Monday Night Raw. And of course, that matchup against Seth freaking Rollins at Vengeance. LA Knight's looking damn near 100%, but you never know if there's any lingering injuries. Beautifully executed drop kick to the outside and a little bit uncharacteristic of the defiant LA Knight. And it's matches like these where LA Knight's got to dig deep down in the bag of tricks and try to throw Braun Breaker off of his game, push him to the limits, and find his ticket to the semifinals in less than two weeks. King of the Ring going to come to you live from the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, Saturday night, June the 15th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The semifinals and, of course, the finals of the King of the Ring tournament will take place on that night. An opportunity to etch your name in the annals of history hangs in the balance. As LA Knight brings Braun Breaker to the top rope, and this is not looking good for the man they call the badass. Superplex by LA Knight. Some great strength shown. And Fort Worth, Texas coming unglued in the early moments as we getting right down to the action here on Monday Night Raw this week. Hot off the heels of a successful trip to San Antonio seven nights ago for All-Star Raw. The road to King of the Ring has been hot and heavy and LA Knight and Braun Breaker showing us why. Off the superplex, LA Knight looks to keep the momentum going. Drop down momentarily, goes for the elbow, breaker off the counter, and a big time uppercut to knock the megastar off his feet. Breaker is a dangerous competitor inside of that ring. Whether you're a veteran like LA Knight or a future prospect like Breaker himself, Breaker just a different animal to try to tame off the belly to belly. Imagine if Braun Breaker continues to take steps forward in his Monday Night Raw career and gets a huge victory over a top star of Monday Nights like LA Knight and punches his ticket to the semifinals. What that could do for the aura surrounding Breaker. LA Knight, somebody who has been in WWE title conversations over the last few months. Of course, had an opportunity to win the gold at Backlash. Back in April in the Fatal 4-Way matchup, was not pinned on that night, but did not become the champion nonetheless. I'm sure LA Knight would love another opportunity to win the WWE title. And it would absolutely be guaranteed if he can win the King of the Ring tournament and go on to main event SummerSlam. Saw Braun Breaker had a little bit of a window there off the belly to belly, he was starting to get fired up, but LA Knight quickly Turn the tables, not trying to allow this blue chipper to rev up the engine in this matchup. Once again, Breaker creating some distance right there, and LA Knight stopping him dead in his tracks. The Megastar realizes he is a up against a very motivated superstar in Braun Breaker tonight. Recognize these recognize the accomplishments of Breaker over the last few months, the victories he has tallied up against this level of superstars that he has. That's why LA Knight is trying his best to control the pace of this matchup. Off the elbow. And Breaker with the shoulder up. You gotta believe some damage was taken out as the Megastar tries to find a new opportunity. Blood Force trauma early on in this matchup. LA Knight not wasting any time. Unfortunately for the Megastar, might have bit off more than he could chew. Braun Breaker with a huge kick out. The elbow drop, the BFT. LA Knight is fired up, but Breaker with anything, he's got left rolling to the outside, and LA Knight meets him there. A huge kick out. Survival instincts by Braun Breaker. Survival certainly isn't thriving inside of that ring right now, or shall I say outside of it. Breaker might have kicked out, but at what cost? LA Knight not giving an inch. Taking this fight to the outside, if that's what he needs to do to get the job done. On the shoulders, Braun Breaker in trouble here. Down he goes again. 
What a night this is going to be on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Still to come, DIY set to go 2v2 against Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows of the OC. Also coming up tonight, one of the women who challenges for the WWE Women's title at King of the Ring, that being the former champion, Liv Morgan, set to go one-on-one -on -one against Sonya Deville. So much action on hand live here at the Dickies Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. Air raid crashed by LA Knight, and the megastar could be looking to take the spotlight in the King of the Ring tournament. A massive elbow does not connect, but the spear does. Breaker going to the semifinals. Not just yet. Not just yet. Man, oh man, LA Knight throwing caution in the wind. A massive elbow drop that did not deliver. Ron Breaker, solo window of opportunity, hit the spear. LA Knight able to get the shoulder up, but there's Breaker showing his strength. This matchup showing you how bad that these two superstars want the opportunity, want to wear the crown of the king and move on to SummerSlam to challenge for the WWE Championship in the main event. Off the belly to belly, LA Knight trying to counter here. Tries to go low, could be going for that underneath Boston Crab attempt that we've seen him execute in the past. But Brock Breaker with different ideas. He got to give it up for meaner than evil. Braun Breaker surviving some of LA Knight's best in this matchup. But does Braun Breaker have enough left in the tank to cross the finish line first? The spear did not do it. Breaker might not have had all of his emphasis behind it. But trying to go for a cover, nonetheless, off the takedown. LA Knight getting the shoulder up at two, and this quarterfinal matchup continues on. Winner of this contest meets the winner of tonight's main event, Dirty Dominic Mysterio versus the Second City Saints, CM Punk, who will move on to the semifinals in New Orleans in less than two weeks' time. Of course, we will find out who moves on in the semifinals. On the SmackDown side of the bracket, live this Friday from Mexico City at Super SmackDown. A lot of stakes hang in the balance throughout this week as Braun Breaker trying not to allow a comeback by one of Monday Night Raw's hottest stars. Only night into the ropes again. Look at the strength of Breaker, especially in the deep waters of this match. LA Knight getting to his feet. Braun Breaker, however, waiting in the winds. I think we know what comes next. Press slam. Down goes LA Knight. But the mega star is still in this matchup. These two men have thrown their best shots at each other. Who wants it more? Braun Breaker, LA Knight. Somehow, still continuing to push forward. This is what the King of the Ring tournament is all about. This is what the opportunity means to each and every superstar who has competed over the last several of weeks. LA Knight has delivered the elbows, delivered the BFT, the air raid crash. Nothing has kept Braun Breaker down. Breaker has now delivered the press slam. Cut LA Knight in half with a spear. Alas, LA Knight continues to move forward in this contest. This is how you kick off Monday Night Raw live from Fort Worth, Texas. A quarterfinal matchup. Back to the outside we go. LA Knight has already done some serious damage to Braun Breaker on the outskirts so far throughout this matchup. Maybe feeling comfortable on the other side of the ropes tonight. Braun Breaker down the outside. LA Knight could possibly be looking for a count out victory. I mean, you'd, you'd almost hate to see it. And Oh, wait a minute. Don't let me get over Zealous. Knight scaling the ropes, trying to drop the hammer on Braun Breaker. Breaker, however, saw it coming. And now on the outside with a power bomb. Gave Breaker way too much time for some R&R. &R. And it comes back to bite him. 
LA Knight set into the ring. Braun Breaker hot on his tails. Knight might have tossed it himself with that high risk maneuver. Big time lariat. Whatever Braun Breaker's got left, whatever power he can bestow upon this matchup, he needs to deliver. Another clothesline. LA Knight tried to go high risk, tried to drop the hammer at ringside. It came back to bite him. And now Braun Breaker starting to come unglued in this quarterfinal bout. Couple of shoulder blocks throughout this matchup, and LA Knight this time gets the best of them. Braun Breaker was striking why he could, but now LA Knight delivering his own variations of strikes. And now a knee, a second lariat. LA Knight retained the Intercontinental Championship with that maneuver several times throughout his reign. Could be going for a second BFT. Breaker denies. But LA Knight with his foot on the gas pedal. The Megastar is feeling the fire tonight. Kick it into a new gear. Ron Breaker again rolling to the outside. I don't think this is a good place to be against LA Knight throughout this matchup so far. And now he drops the hammer successfully. If it doesn't work once, I guess try again. LA Knight feeling confident enough to drop that ax hammer and it works out for him. But not enough to keep a very hungry and motivated blue chipper down. Ron Breaker creating a little distance, looking to close the gap here on a dazed LA Knight. Back and forth, this matchup starts to go over the last several of minutes. Very well may come down to who gets that last final blow, that true knockout shot. They've thrown their live rounds. They've thrown their best shots. But who's got just a little bit more left in the tank? Will it be Braun Breaker as he delivers a massive powerbomb? Saw one on the outside earlier. This time it happens between the ropes. LA Knight caught between a rock and a hard place. A second press slam by the badass. Braun Breaker is going to the semifinals. What a way to kick things off here in Fort Worth, Texas tonight. LA Knight and Braun Breaker leaving it all inside of the ring. But only one man could move on to New Orleans in less than two weeks' time. And we now have our answer. Here is your winner. Nothing to be ashamed of in defeat for the megastar. LA Knight will live to fight another day and seek new opportunities here on Raw. But the story here is that man, the badass, Braun Breaker. His evolution is happening before our very eyes. LA Knight's name fades to black as Braun Breaker solidifies his spot in the semifinals of the King of the Ring Tournament. Last week in San Antonio, in a very epic all-star Raw, we witnessed a tag team bout between Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville as they took on Rhea Ripley's two challengers for King of the Ring, that being Liv Morgan and the EST, Bianca Belair. Well, they will be opponents in New Orleans in less than two weeks' time, but it was a tag team victory for Liv and Bianca last week. Unfortunately, a short-lived celebration shocked to us all. Bailey making her Monday Night Raw return in a very unprecedented way and left us with a lot of more questions than answers. Well, of course, it bled into Velocity last Wednesday where Bailey returned to action in an extremely physical contest against Piper Niven. Bailey able to score a huge victory upon her return. You gotta wonder what Bailey's intentions are here on Monday Night Raw. Is she heading towards the WWE Women's Championship as soon as she possibly can? All remains to be seen what is going to happen. We are going to have some more answers, hopefully, here tonight in Fort Worth as Bailey is set for action against the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. A successful return last week that shocked us all. 
but can she keep the momentum strong here tonight on Raw? Well, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, coming up in less than two weeks time at the King of the Ring, it is a triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's title as the Nightmare Rhea Ripley defends the gold against the former champion Liv Morgan and the woman who she screwed out of a title opportunity just a few weeks ago, the EST, Bianca Belair. Rhea Ripley literally finding herself with her back against the wall. Will she be able to survive? Not one, but two hungry challengers, not only seeking the WWE Women's Championship, but also a measure of revenge. That is coming up on Saturday night, June the 15th in New Orleans, Louisiana. We are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the King of the Ring. Right here tonight, Bailey has got a one-on-one -on -one matchup against Tiffany Stratton. I believe Chelsea Green is at ringside. In Tiffany Stratton's corner, I mean, we have seen a loose partnership between Tiffany and Chelsea and Sonya and Piper for quite some time. I mean, Tiffany's a little bit on the outskirts. I don't know why Chelsea Green is out here tonight, but nonetheless, here we go. Bailey back in action on Monday Night Raw. I get somebody who has made some waves here on the red brand over the last few months, that being Tiffany Stratton. Calls herself the center of the universe. Looking to turn Monday Night Raw into Tiffany time any given week. Obviously, Chelsea and Sonya and Piper, I guess, rubbed the wrong way last week when Bailey made her return, even though they weren't even the ones left standing. It was Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair who got the victory. Don't ask me anything that goes through the minds of Chelsea and her crew, because uh, they, they, they'll, they'll, they'll be quite delusional sometimes, if we're being honest. I call them the Mean Girls crew. They would be apprehensive to that, but nonetheless, Tiffany Stratton taking the fight to Bailey here tonight. It's a huge opportunity for Tiffany. You know, although Bailey's had a couple of rough years here in the WWE, on and off injuries, nagging injuries that have really kept her out of consistent action, whether it's been over on SmackDown or here on Raw, Bailey is a veteran of the squared circle. She's held championships all across the WWE, and she's really done a little bit of everything in the women's division. So for Tiffany Strat tonight, an opportunity to get a huge win for a future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it, in Bailey. Tiffany Stratton's been looking to really take that next step, maybe even challenge for the Women's Championship herself once more. She did a few months back when Liv Morgan was holding the gold at Backlash, a unfortunate loss in the mind of Tiffy. Victory here tonight could put Tiffany Stratton in championship conversations against whoever walks out of the king of the ring holding the gold in less than two weeks' time. I'll tell you, Bailey coming back last week, a shock to us all as she has been thrown right into the fire. A physical matchup against Piper Niven on Velocity last week. And now Tiffany Stratton making Bailey regret ever lacing up her boots here at Fort Worth tonight. Crash and burn off the misstep, off the mood salt. Look at Bailey with the creative pinfall here into the bridge. Almost had a stolen victory over Tiffany Stratton. Not to be just yet. Tiffany Stratton has had some run-ins with the likes of Cora Jade and Liv Morgan here on Monday Night Raw. The last time we saw Tiffany was when Rhea Ripley was on her pursuit of once again challenging Liv Morgan for the Women's Championship. Tiffany Stratton and Cora Jade laid out by Rhea in the same night here on the Red Brand. I am sure there's a part of Tiffany that hasn't forgot, but there also might be another half that doesn't even want to mess with the Nightmare. I'll tell you what, whether you like Tiffany Stratton or not, nobody can knock the offense inside of the ring. Meanwhile, that turnbuckle's been exposed, I assume, the work of Chelsea Green while the referee's back was turned. And Tiffany Stratton taking full advantage of it, going for a crossbody here. On Bailey, off the counter, great strength being shown. And dropping a knee. As great as Tiffany Stratton may be, and as much of a future star she is becoming, Bailey, as we mentioned, a veteran of the squared circle, has seen it all, has done it all, and continues to push forward here on Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, you got the X Factor and Chelsea Green at ringside, who quite frankly does not need to be out here tonight. But nonetheless, Bailey into the ropes. And, oh, well, there you go. Chelsea Green grabbing the boot of Bailey, and the distraction aids Tiffany Stratton. 
Well, Chelsea Green and company, for one reason or another, don't ask me for a logical reason, but obviously rubbed the wrong way when Bailey made her return last week. Maybe looking at Bailey as more competition here in the women's division that they have to overcome, and they are looking to eliminate that factor here tonight on Raw. Bailey able to get the victory over Piper and Evan last week, and I'm sure that only infuriated Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville and Piper that much more. And now Tiffany Stratton trying her hand at the veteran tonight. And although Bailey has had a couple of opportunities to get back into this matchup, whether it's the numbers game or I'll bite the talent of Tiffany Stratton, it has been an uphill battle. And there's the crossbody delivers to perfection this time. Chelsea Green, no need for her to be a ringside tonight, but remember Tiffany Stratton back in the month of March was alongside Chelsea Green when she made a return to Monday Night Raw. Taking her spot in a matchup against Cora Jade. And now Tiffany off the victory roll. And that might be all she wrote. Bailey's return going up in smoke or not just yet. Getting the shoulder off the canvas. Tiffany's starting to show signs of frustration, which she cannot allow against somebody as experienced as ba Bailey inside of the ring. There's Tiffany in the corner. Even when you think Bailey's down, she continues to get up, but Tiffany knocks her right back down. Tiffany Stratton, all the talent in the world. Bailey looking worse for wear right now, but never count her out. Nice pair of boots. Bailey's got to keep her eye on the X Factor that's at ringside and try to keep her momentum alive off the last seven days. Bailey obviously picked her spot to perfection last week. Eyeing up the challengers for the women's title at King of the Ring. Bailey trying to throw her name in title conversations. A loss to Tiffany Stratton tonight would most likely send Bailey further down the line. Bailey not looking to allow that, especially after a huge win last week on TikTok on Velocity against Piper Niven. Tiffany into the corner, Bailey, nice maneuver that time. Tiffany Stratton down and out. This may be Bailey's biggest opportunity in this contest to score the victory. Tiffany looking a little bit dazed and confused. Bailey trying to go off the elbow. I think Tiffany might have got wrapped up in that bottom rope, however. An unfortunate disaster as Bailey now, within moments, finds herself staring up at the lights. It will survive again, but at what cost? Yeah. Tiffany Stratton right back in control. Bailey with a miscalculation off that elbow. And once again, Bailey trying to get back into this matchup, picks the ankles. Bailey is starting to get fired up here at Fort Worth tonight. This is what Bailey's got to do, especially with Chelsea Lumen at ringside. Get the job done. Nice Saito that time. Tiffany now trying to create some distance. And Bailey's the one in hot pursuit. Tiffany Stratton in the corner, Bailey in hot pursuit, as we mentioned, right behind the opposer. Tiffany Stratton may be the center of the universe, but Bailey's looking to be the victor here tonight on Raw. Again, a counter by Tiffany, and wait a minute, Bailey down, Tiffany off the corkscrew in the corner. And he almost had her. Tiffany Stratton has picked up victories with that maneuver in the past. Unfortunately, defeating Bailey not to be at this current moment. Fort Worth in appreciation of a great contest all bite between sometimes the underhanded tactics of Tiffany Stratton and the talent she is bringing to the table. And of course, the veteran, Bailey, who's trying to complete a successful return to Monday Night Raw. Prettiest mood sold ever. Does not connect. Bailey into the pinfall. <laughs> Tiffany able to get the shoulder up. Man, oh man. Tiffany Stratton off the crash and burn almost got caught. But Bailey with a rose plant. Into the cover. The same maneuver that awarded her the win last week on Velocity gives her the same result tonight on Raw.
Tiffany Stratton and Chelsea Green trying to outnumber Bailey. With the same eyes on the women's championship is Bailey in hot pursuit of the title. Well, just as quick as Tiffany Stratton was taken down off the prettiest mood sold ever, Bailey has quickly made her presence felt in the women's division once again. The champion Rhea Ripley has got to be worried. Competition at an all-time high. Well, this Wednesday, only on TikTok on Velocity, a highly anticipated one-on-one -on -one contest between the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and Baron Corbin set to go down. And remember what happened just two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. Baron Corbin coming up short in the King of the Ring first round against the badass Braun Breaker, who we saw in action at the top of the hour. It was after the contest, though, that Karrion Cross tried to pick the bones of Braun Breaker's hard work. Cross and Corbin with issues dating back to WrestleMania a few months ago, but Braun Breaker not allowing Cross to rain on his parade. Whether it's intentional or not, coming to the aid of Baron Corbin, Corbin getting out of the fire on that night, but looks to take on Karrion Cross head on, only on TikTok on Velocity this Wednesday afternoon. So much history between those two superstars over the last few months, and we will discuss all about it over on TikTok on Velocity this Wednesday when Cross and Corbin go one-on-one. -on -one. But back inside the Dickies Arena here at Fort Worth, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows of the OC going to have their hands full with DIY. They'll be the first to tell you it's been a rough comeback over the last month, but DIY looking to turn things around live here tonight on Raw. And the opponent and a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, Well, Johnny Gargano, of course, drafted over to Monday Night Raw back in April, and ever since then, DIY has been upon us again. Unfortunately, successful results are not to be found ever since Gargano and Ciampa have been standing alongside each other. Fell short a great matchup against the Judgment Day the night of their return, and then just two weeks ago, alongside the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, falling short to Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, as well as AJ Styles of the OC in a six-man tag team matchup. Well, DIY looking to get back that victory here tonight, even the score, if you will, with the OC. Just because it's been a rough go around over the last month and change for Gargano and Ciampa, on any given night, their momentum can take off. And obviously a tall task ahead in Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, former tag team champions. As Tommaso Ciampa looks to take the big man down a notch, several of strikes and a bicycle knee. Of course, that victory, speaking on the six-man tag team win for the OC last couple of weeks ago, led to AJ Styles taking on Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship last week here on All-Star Raw, which was meant with a shocking, surprising special guest referee and the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. AJ Styles falling short, unable to obtain the Intercontinental title. The OC looking to bring some good mojo back to their clubhouse here tonight. Johnny Gargano tagged in, full head of steam ever since the tag, and Aizen Zaguri once again taking down the big LG. Gargano and Ciampa fired up here tonight. Tommaso Ciampa saw a little bit of single success on Monday Night Raw. Gargano really struggled over the last year on SmackDown, but now together here on Monday Night Raw, looking to rev up their own engines. Tornado DDT to the outside. DIY did not come to play games tonight. Fort Worth coming unglued as Luke Gallows looking worse for wear, which is not something we say very often. Gargano into the cover. Could be a huge victory for DIY, but not even a one count just yet. Just goes to show you the toughness of the big man, Luke Gallows. 
the OC World Traveled, and those two good brothers looking to bring some mojo back to the clubhouse as we mentioned tonight. Gargano taken to the outside by Luke Gallows. And wait a minute here. Gallows with his eyes on Tommaso Ciampa. Dropping him on the apron. Gargano with a two-pace suicida. My goodness. Luke Gallows thought he was trying to divide and conquer. Johnny Gargano said, even on the outside, I'm going to find you. Oh, now Gallows sending... Oh, Gargano right to the steel steps and takes out Ciampa again. And Gallows looking like a one-man army at the current moment. Gargano back into the ring. Meanwhile, Gallows with his eyes still on Tommaso Ciampa at ringside. He's not even the legal man. Referees at a count of seven. I think Gargano's had enough. He's going to the outside, trying to get his hands on Gallows once again, trying to get things back under control. And what has been a very DIY aggressive matchup. A loss to the Judgment Day, a loss in six-man tag team action. Gargano and Ciampa did not come back just to be a part of Monday Night Raw. They came to take over Monday Night Raw. Tag made the Ciampa. Gallows back into the ring at a big time bicycle knee. And a much needed tag to Machine Gun Carl Anderson. And Anderson takes down a possibly weakened Tommaso Ciampa after the onslaught from Gallows on the outside. Just like that, the OC. We're going to bring things back down to size. Russell Air style a matchup. As we mentioned, world travel veterans, championships all across the globe. Gallows and Anderson now here on Monday Night Raw with the phenomenal AJ Styles. And after Styles fell short to Sami Zayn last week, you know Anderson and Gallows not looking to see the same result tonight in Fort Worth. Said Luke Gallows looking worse for wear a few moments ago. Now look at Tommaso Ciampa. Now Carl Anderson just looking to keep this beat down going. Tommaso Ciampa and Gar Johnny Gargano came out guns a-blazing here. Now trying to get back into those ways. Nice German suplex dropping Anderson right on the back of his cranium. Go for a shot that time. Carl Anderson and Tommaso Ciampa waging war between the ropes. Double underhook powerbomb. And Ciampa muscling the shoulder up. But obviously a lot taken out of Ciampa, as you can see. I think he was trying to crawl away to DIY territory. Maybe get a much-needed tag. Ciampa brought into the corner once more. Had a sign of life with that German a few moments ago, but it has been all Carl Anderson ever since that tag was made. Try to go low with that basement drop kick. Both men go for shots that time. Nobody delivers. Tommaso Ciampa with a discus lariat. Fort Worth coming alive for DIY. Project Ciampa. Could be a huge victory for DIY, not just yet as Luke Gallows breaking things up. Asia Smith might have got caught in the crosshairs. Well, she's a tough referee, she'll be all right. Carl Anderson on the outside. Tommaso Ciampa thought he had it that time. Project Ciampa may not have gotten the three count, but you got to believe it took a hell of a lot out of Carl Anderson. What is most important is Ciampa is back in control. Tag made to the whole shebang. Johnny Gargano, wait a minute here. Meet in the middle by DIY. Ciampa playing defense. Gargano into the cover. DIY back on top. Just because it was a rough start for DIY upon their reunion here on Monday Night Raw. As we said at the top of the bell, any given week is a week to turn your momentum around. And the, pro the proof is DIY before our very eyes. Here are your winners, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa revving up the engines here tonight. And I think hit the OC with something they weren't expecting here in... Wait, what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. That's LA Knight. So like LA Knight laid out in the parking garage. What the hell's, hell's going on back there? 
Nobody else is in sight, but LA Knight looks to be knocked out cold. We need to get some help back there for the megastar LA Knight, who is obviously beat up from his matchup at the top of Monday Night Raw, and whatever the hell happened to the parking lot. We need to get some help out there. LA Knight is out cold. What the hell's going on? Well, as we try to refocus after whatever the hell happened to LA Knight in the parking garage, we take a look back at Vengeance a number of weeks ago where the Nigerian giant Omas stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big Brunson Reed. A earth-shattering collision between these two super heavyweights which saw Bronson Reed able to outlast Omas even after Omas dished out some very unorthodox offense. Big Bronson Reed proving why he is a player here on Monday Night Raw. A big win for Bronson Reed back in Bakersfield at Vengeance that of course bled into a number one contenders match with Seth Rollins here on Raw. Reed unsuccessful unfortunately on that night and Omas came to pick the scraps. Upset about the loss at Vengeance, ambushing Bronson Reed and putting him right through a table in the middle of the squared circle. Well, that, of course, not sitting well with Big Brunson Reed. And last week, we found out the challenge that was dished out. And then, of course, accepted. Coming up at King of the Ring, Reed and Omas run it back. And if you thought what happened at Vengeance was earth-shattering, what the hell is going to happen when these two men meet in a bourbon street fight in New Orleans, Louisiana? It's coming up on Saturday, June the 15th. Reed and Omas part two, and anything goes. I don't know what the hell is to be expected a King of the Ring between Big Brunson Reed and the Nigerian giant Omos. But what I do know is Cedric Alexander pulled an unlucky straw. He's got to face what I am sure is a very pissed off giant in Omos live here tonight in Fort Worth on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at four. The Nigerian Giant, Omas! You know, Omas has never been somebody to ambush somebody from behind necessarily or really get his hands super dirty on the outside of the ring because quite frankly, he's such a physical specimen and has been so dominant between the ropes he's never needed to. But what we saw a few weeks back with the choke slam through the table, certainly uncharacteristic for Omos and just goes to show you how much that loss at Vengeance stung. Big Bronson Reed has become a player since his WWE return and Monday Night Raw debut in the back of March. Only one loss on Reed's record so far. Nigerian giant Omos looking to make sure it is going to be a second loss coming up in less than two weeks time at the King of the Ring event. Bourbon street fight. Anything's going to go. Falls are going to count anywhere. Might need to reinforce. Forget the ring. The whole city of New Orleans. Nonetheless, Cedric Alexander. Not necessarily the ideal matchup tonight on Monday Night Rawls. He's trying to come out guns a-blazing. Just as DIY did against the U Ooh, against the Usos, against the OC a few moments ago. Obviously, the anticipation for King of the Ring is making us go delusional here. Cedric Alexander, nonetheless, in trouble as Omas obviously fired up. Within moments, Cedric Alexander getting knocked down to the ground, and Omas is going to the top rope. Well, we saw this back in Vengeance, dishing to Cedric Alexander, Bronson Reed's own finishing maneuver. If that isn't a message sent, I don't know what is. Here is your winner, the Nigerian giant, If you think Bronson Reed's tsunami is not to be messed with, what about Omas's version that he just bestowed upon Cedric? Man, oh man, well, let's take a look back at last week on All-Star Raw, ladies and gentlemen. CM Punk, of course, made his return in the main event. But what we saw earlier in the night, a backstage confrontation where it looked like CM Punk tried to maybe bury the hatchet with the WWE Champion Kevin Owens after Owens may have felt disrespected by Punk's return at Vengeance. Well, after CM Punk's victory over Shinsuke Nakamura in the main event, Kevin Owens appearing in the squared circle, 
And I don't know what the confrontation of what Kevin Owens was looking to get out of it, but coming face to face with CM Punk and obviously the Second City Saint not hearing any of it. Shoving the WWE Champion away and certainly an interesting situation developing as Kevin Owens approaches a championship defense against Seth Rollins in less than two weeks time. Well, so much action here on Monday Night Raw as we approach the King of the Ring, and here comes one of your number one contenders. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! The former women's champion, wait a minute, Rhea Ripley from behind! Liv Morgan set for action against Sonya Deville tonight, but Rhea Ripley with the ambush from behind with the Women's Championship on the back of the skull. Actions that quite frankly don't surprise me from a member of the Judgment Day. Back on WrestleMania Sunday in March, the visionary Seth freaking Rollins WWE Championship reign came crashing down thanks to the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens. Ever since that night, Rollins has been in hot pursuit of winning back the prestigious gold. And after a victory over Brunson Reed a few weeks back, the visionary gets his opportunity to take down the prize fighter when Kevin Owens defends the WWE Championship against Seth freaking Rollins in less than two weeks time at the King of the Ring. But these two men gonna have an opportunity to get an edge over one another. Coming up next week on Raw, it is a pick your poison between champion and challenger. Seth Rollins chooses Kevin Owens' opponent. Owens chooses Rollins' opponent. What action are we gonna see live next week on Raw in the pick your poison between the challenger Seth Rollins and the WWE Champion Kevin Owens? It has been a busy night of action here in Fort Worth. But we are not done just yet. It is main event time here on Raw. And we are gonna determine the semi-final bout for the King of the Ring Tournament as Dirty Dominic Mysterio meets the Second City Saint, C.M. Punk. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Well, many would argue Dominic Mysterio shouldn't even be, shouldn't even be competing here tonight after what we saw last week on Raw. In my opinion, an undeserving victory for Dominic as he counted out Solo Sokoa, and of course Solo Sokoa getting put through the announce table by the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. Ridiculous actions, like just like we saw Rhea Ripley moments ago, does not surprise us from any member of the Judgment Day. But nonetheless, Dominic Mysterio is here and is set to compete in the quarterfinals. But he has got a tall task ahead against one of the best to ever lace up a pair of boots. Seven nights ago, this man made his in-ring return here on Raw. And it was a hard fought victory in a WrestleMania rematch against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Tonight, a very different task at hand for the best in the world. The X Factor and Finn Balor accompanies Dominic Mysterio down to the ring tonight. CM Punk must keep an eye on Finn at ringside as he tries to watch for the underhanded tactics of Dirty Dominic Mysterio as the quarterfinals continue on Raw. CM Punk looking laser focused and of course looked best than he ever did 
seven nights ago. Able to outlast the very game Shinsuke Nakamura in the main event of All-Star Raw and punch his ticket to tonight's festivities. Of course, at the top of the hour, we found out that the badass Braun Breaker, after his victory over LA Knight, is moving on to the semifinals in less than two weeks' time in New Orleans, Louisiana. But who will meet him there? Will it be the Second City Saints CM Punk? Or has the Judgment Day come in with yet another game plan to steal a victory and get exactly what they want in their hostile takeover of the red brand? All remains to be seen as it is main event time on an action-packed night of Monday Night Raw. Fort Worth, Texas, loud and certainly proud in support of CM Punk as the bell sounds in the quarterfinal matchup is underway. Dominic Mysterio trying to come out of the gate early with the crossbody, and he does. CM Punk not going to underestimate Dom here tonight. Whether you like Mysterio's actions or not, or you like him just as a human being or not, quite frankly, nobody can take away the talent. A generational superstar, of course, but over the last few months, Dominic Mysterio has evolved into a completely different animal than we once knew when he was standing alongside his father over on SmackDown. Taken under the wing of the Judgment Day. And has adopted every underhand, underhanded tactic that they've ever implored. CM Punk trying to go for the knee early in the corner. Dominic Mysterio doing his homework on the veteran. And you got to give credit to Dirty Dom there, as much as I hate to say it. Of course, Dominic Mysterio originally supposed to challenge Jey Uso in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. The ever-looming issues between the Judgment Day and the Usos Bleeding out of vengeance, Dirty Dominic Mysterio putting Jay on the shelf with an attack in the parking lot just a few weeks ago. A replacement was to be made, and that was, of course, the other brother of the Usos, the younger brother of Solo Sokoa. Solo stepping up not only to defend the honors of Jay and Jimmy, who are now both sidelined with injuries, but, of course, to try to seek the opportunity of the King of the Ring tournament. Unfortunately, Solo... Oh, but did not get a fair crack last week as he dealt with Damian Priest at ringside and Dirty Dom trying to steal one out from under his nose any chance he could. It ended up working out in Dom's favor. The count-out victory over Solo Sokoa to move on. And of course, Damian Priest making matters that much worse as he choke slams Solo Sokoa right through the announce table. Dominic Mysterio going for a victory right here against CM Punk and Punk getting the shoulder up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting breaking news right now after what we've seen throughout tonight. Huge eight-woman tag team matchup has been signed for next week. Sonya Deville, Chelsea Green, Tiffany Stratton, and Piper Niven take on Cora Jade, Bailey, Bianca Belair, and the woman who was just ambushed in the aisleway by Rhea Ripley, that being Liv Morgan. Obviously, that one-on-one -on -one matchup between Liv and Sonya thrown out after Liv was just attacked from behind with the women's championship across the skull. No reason to risk further injury competing here tonight, but massive eight-woman tag set for the final Monday Night Raw before King of the Ring live next week. Meanwhile, Dominic Mysterio has been the aggressor against CM Punk in this main event so far. You notice in your back corner, Finn Balor exposing the turnbuckle, trying to give Dominic any edge in this contest. Punk trying to get his wits about him, whiffing the clothesline that time. Dominic looking to take advantage. Dominic Mysterio is controlled. Early part of this matchup here, CM Punk may be feeling the brunt. Not only what Dominic is dishing out, but of course may be feeling some lingering effects of that battle with Shinsuke Nakamura only seven nights ago as Dominic goes for the splash. Nobody home. And that is Punk's opportunity to get back into this matchup. A nice neck breaker delivered by the Second City Saint himself. Punk never one afraid to rev up the engines. Start moving a mile a minute if that's what he needs to do. Dominic Mysterio trying to absorb as much punishment as he can, but CM Punk is just gonna keep dishing it out. Another neck breaker that time. Punk into the cover. Rod Zapata sliding in, and only a one count that time, but obvious damage started to be done by Judgment Day's representative in the King of the Ring tournament.
Dominic Bree and CM Punk in the corner. They have no room to breathe as well. Immediately delivered an elbow, and now the boots right to the chest cavity. CM Punk saw a window of opportunity. Dominic Mysterio slamming it shut. And oh no, here we saw this on the outside last week. This time between the ropes, looked like Dom was going for the triple verticals. CM Punk, however, off the counter, rolling up Dominic, not to be. Dominic delivering the three amigos to Solo Sokoa at ringside last week. Wanted to deliver them to CM Punk. But CM Punk did his homework just as Dominic did. And back and forth we start to go, but Dominic Mysterio once again in control. And now from the top delivers a headbutt. CM Punk may be on the verge of being kicked out of the King of the Ring Tournament. The Frog Splash delivers. Dominic could be gaining the biggest upset of his career. Not just yet. CM Punk gets the shoulder up, and the matchup lives on. Dominic Mysterio trying to keep the foot on the gas. Another pinfall here, but CM Punk is still in this matchup. I'll tell you what, this could be a bracket buster for a lot of WWE fans out there if Dominic Mysterio actually does find a way to keep down CM Punk. With Finn Balor at ringside, it is anybody's ball game. Punk trying to find a way to get some sustained momentum in this matchup. A nice Falcon Arrow moments ago, and now hanging Dominic Mysterio up with nothing pretty, but certainly an effective drop on the top rope. Back into the corner goes Dom and CM Punk with a knee right to the jawline and a clothesline for his troubles. CM Punk sticking with his best offense, trying to go to the well with what works. CM Punk was on the receiving end of what Shinsuke Nakamura deemed strong style last week. Punk was able to survive that fight, but can he survive the numbers of the Judgment Day? And the talent of Dirty Dominic Mysterio tonight. Off the top of the superplex by Punk. And Punk going for the cover here, but Ron Zabana's back is turned as he's fixing up the turnbuckle that was exposed by Finn Balor. Those are the numbers game at play for the Judgment Day tonight. Could have been all she wrote off the superplex by Punk. Stacking the offense. Not even getting the count he wanted. Punk not going to complain, just going to continue to fight as Dominic Mysterio now back into the corner. Not by will, but by force of the opposer. CM Punk delivering some short arm lariats. Right to Dominic Mysterio in the corner. And a back body drop. And now into the cover. And now a pinfall to be made. But it's only a two. Some great offense by Punk as he now heads to the top rope. Dom is in prime position. Looking for the signature elbow. And once again, CM Punk not finding a three count anywhere in sight. But how much was taken out of Dom after that series of maneuvers and... Oh, come on now. Finn Balor realizing Dominic Mysterio in trouble. Finn Balor waving and screaming and trying to get CM Punk's attention. And unfortunately, Punk fell for the trap. Dominic Mysterio from behind, going after Punk. CM Punk could have been closing in on maybe a go to sleep or something else to put Dominic Mysterio away. And thanks to the help of the Prince, Dirty Dom, Back into this matchup. And back into a pinfall scenario. And CM Punk able to survive. Who is going to meet Braun Breaker in the semifinals of the King of the Ring Tournament in less than two weeks time in New Orleans with a chance to move on to the finals, a chance to wear the crown of the king, and a chance to main event SummerSlam all hanging in the balance. Dominic Mysterio crawling away, trying to create some separation between himself and a very laser-focused CM Punk. And so many close calls in this main event matchup tonight in Fort Worth. 
The action has been hot and heavy all night long, and once again, Finn Balor trying to get CM Punk's attention at ringside. Anything he can do to give Dominic Mysterio a couple of seconds of R&R, &R, you gotta believe Finn Balor's gonna do it. First it was Damian Priest last week, now the other half of the World Tag Team Champions getting involved, and it's gonna aid Dominic Mysterio here as he looks to deliver the three amigos. And there's the third. Dominic gonna steal the victory thanks to Finn Balor. Not just yet, CM Punk again is still up, is still at him. Dominic has got to be frustrated here. Thought he had Punk's back turned. Got the three amigos. Had to think that was going to be all she wrote. CM Punk showing why they call him the best in the world. Dominic Mysterio getting caught. And he goes face first off the canvas again. Now CM Punk better not get overzealous here. Or did he just go Dominic Mysterio in? On again, come on, you gotta be kidding me here. Finn Balor again, trying to take CM Punk's eye off the ball. Ron Zapata, I think, might have had enough. Dominic Mysterio with the hangman's neck breaker on CM Punk. And Dominic's going to the top. All the while, Ron Zapata is throwing Finn Balor out of here. Crash and burn off the frog splash. Finally, some justice. Finn Balor sent to the locker room, and Dominic Mysterio is in the crosshairs of the best in the world. Look at it go, two, sleep, JTS delivered. CM Punk is on his way to New Orleans, Louisiana. Finn Balor and Dominic Mysterio trying to outnumber CM Punk since the word go. Finally, Finn Balor thrown at a race side and CM Punk puts Dominic to sleep. Here is your winner, We saw a very physical back and forth encounter between Braun Breaker and LA Knight to kick things off. In your main event, a very different story. That Soul CM Punk needing to find a way to survive the numbers, and that he did. It is gonna be an unlucky night in the locker room of the Judgment Day, but CM Punk wreaking the rewards of the three count as we take a look at the updated bracket. And we now know the raw side of the semifinals at the King of the Ring event. The badass Braun Breaker looks to keep his young momentum high as he takes on a future Hall of Famer in the Second City Saint CM Punk, a first time ever matchup in the semifinals of the King of the Ring. Yeah, what a night it is gonna be in less than two weeks at Smoothie King Center. And wait a minute, Finn Balor. Finn Balor back inside the squared circle and ambushing CM Punk from behind. Dropping CM Punk right on his cranium. And now Akuna Cross. The hell is this about? Finn Balor obviously upset that CM Punk got the victory over Dirty Dom and making him pay for it. And now the WWE Champion Kevin Owens is out here. Kevin Owens looking to go for a stunner. I can't believe Owens is out here trying to make the save on CM Punk. An interesting situation has developed between those two superstars. Somebody had to come even the odds, and it looks like the champion is going to be the man to do it. A stunner on Balor. Finn Balor and Dirty Dominic Mysterio falling short by hands of CM Punk and the WWE Champion Kevin Owens tonight. Man, oh man, and now what? Seth Rollins from behind. Rollins with a kendo stick to the man he meets in the main event of New Orleans. A chaotic couple of moments here as we end Monday Night Raw hot and heavy. Less than two weeks before the King of the Ring, tensions are riding high, and that man is looking to win back the WWE Championship.